Hello and welcome. So we're going to get a very good look at the Ninjago docks. Now this thing is taken from the Ninjago movie. It's massive and it has lots and lots of detail as well. So what we'll do is normal, we'll rip off each individual tier. Which is each one of these is packed full of all sorts of different detail on the inside. We'll take a look at all of the minifigures as well because we're using instruction booklet for that. And towards the end of the video, what we'll do, we'll compare this with the Ninjago Gardens and of course the Ninjago City as well. But first thing first, we'll take a look at the box artwork. So it's from the Ninjago movie. It is a 12 plus set and it's set number 706. Five, seven. As you can see, as we pan across the box, it is absolutely amazing. If you do have this one in your collection, then obviously please let me know in the comments below. But you've got lots of cool little detail, like that one, for example. He's come at the karate school and he's broken his wrist. And then you can see the four armed legend himself, which is Garmadon, fighting Lloyd up at the top, or Lloyd in the Ninjago movie. And then, like I said, we will get a better look at all of the minifigures across the bottom in the instruction booklet. They're all named in there and they are slightly bigger photos of everyone as well. But you can see as we come through and across the bottom, you've got this weird shark guy with a chainsaw in a fish and then you've got the little fruit store and then you have got another boat in this one as well so there's lots of cool detail where this one can park in you've got all the steps but all of these individual pieces will come off if we spin it around on to the back this is what i mean so it's fully modular so you can see the top comes off the roof also comes off and you've got the middle section and then you've got this little bit at the bottom and then you've got the little bit where the boat will sit because that's obviously where the boat driver is. You can see the fruit and veggies again across the bottom and then you've got this little crane here with the little bucket up into the karate school. Another bit just up in there and then you have obviously selling you trying to get you to get to the ninjago city before it sold out because this one came out first and then the docks came out second so you can connect both of these at the same time i think they're retired both at the same time if i remember rightly you have got other little bits and pieces that you can do so you've got the signage that you can pull out and you can chop and change it with these things as well and you can see there look you've got more signs on there so i have to make sure when we do this that i can actually find all of those and if you were to insert some money into their vending machine i do believe you get a drink spits out at the bottom and then you've got a little store just in there and there's lots and lots of other detail to have a look at as well size wise this thing is 38 centimeters or 15 inches long and it's 37 or 14 inches tall so moving on to the instruction booklet and it is just one big thick box there's lots of detail in this you can see but first three bags is that bit Four, five, six, seven is all the water. This bit was a little bit painful, if I can remember rightly, put it together. Then all of a sudden, from bag nine onwards, you start to get rewarded with all the colour and the amazing detail of everything that starts to come through. One big base plate, as you can see. Now, coming in and through and on to the back, I think, in the back of this book, we have all sorts. So you've got the Ninjago video game when that was out and about, and then it has got the set numbers for the city and obviously the docks as well, and it's trying to tell you to put them together. It's giving you some more detail and photos of other little bits and pieces that you can do. So you can see them just changing the signs, which you've had a look at. You've got the little shop where you can get the paper. And then there you are on the inside trying to buy some drinks. And again, you've got more detail just on those coming over. That is it all through. It does on this one tell you the tiers. So level one is the old world and level two is the streets. It's a beautiful looking thing. And then as we come through, even more detail with regards to all the big photos. And again, lots and lots of different bits and pieces that you can do. You've got the bunk beds just there with the figures. You've got the big chicken that we'll have to look at or for the big turkey. And again, you've got the nice thing with the boat. Now coming up and across the top, these are all the little minifigures that you can get within this set let me know if you have got any of these so he is the worst karate teacher going he has quite a cool little character that one and you can see some of the other ones that you have got as well so little nelson has the one that's got a broken wrist then you've got Lloyd and then all of the others from the film it's very very accurate so if you haven't seen the movie it's definitely worth doing because it's completely different to the tv show now this is what i think a lot of people quite like the language translator so this is one big alphabet where you can learn to spell your name and it does say here Lego Ninjago Language Challenge. Use the key above to translate the signage hidden throughout the levels of the city. So there's loads and loads of these things here. So you can see all of the little stickers that you add in. You can then figure out and learn exactly what these things are. And just another overshot of just how amazing the actual Ninjago city is on here. And then you've got all sorts of other little bits and pieces going on on those two. And again, moving on to this side. So it's lots and lots of detail in these booklets. Little tease of the video games that were out, and obviously that is just telling you about the movie. You've got the Batman movie, and then you've got the Lego movie, so all three films on there. 
even more detail all of these are again completely different photos and it's saying just some other little bits and pieces you can do but for the last step it is step 562 page 365 time to move on to the set itself and this is it i've done my best to give it a very good clean because it did get a bit neglected for a period of time where it's stuck on the shelf but you can see just how much detail there is and what i will do is my best is to try and spin this round because if you soak it in from the front you can obviously see what that looks like from the front it is one of those sets that is completely different on the back end so you've got lots of less space you can walk them around you can create the path and obviously this does connect like the steps and everything will connect into the city as well on the front and the back which is obviously a very very clever thing and depending on which way you connect it to you've got the pins on this side as well this will link up perfectly and you've got that little forge at the back and the bottom which is for this character just here. And you've got all sorts of bits and pieces that open up and pull out. But like all of the others, if you caught any of the other videos, this does fully strip down. So I think what we'll do is strip it down completely left to right so you can see all of the different bits and pieces. So that is two individual pieces that we need to have a look at. Then you've got this middle section here, which is another big chunk. And then you have two more sections on the right side. And that now allows us to have a much better look at the bottom first. So we'll start off with the boat. The boat's a cool looking little thing. You can get some nice photos with this and it does open up as well. So you can then have a look at the engine if you wanted to also because of how this is with regards to the steps and where this leads with that bit of the top off and that bit parked up there you can then get some nice photos from the top now talking of photos and from the top if you wanted to fill some minifigures up onto the next section you obviously can do because it does look a little bit bare but there is a reason for that because this bit just here you have a switch this actually allows you then to knock this down so you can actually have the fruit and veg on show and if you can obviously then refill it and if you wanted to make some more space you can then just bring that all the way back up these are really cool as well because each one of these are a shovel and they actually can see how they're all staggered and then these are the stickers that we we're going on about in the instruction manuals so you want to figure out and learn out what they spell then obviously feel free with the rest of that top off if you notice now we can have a look at the turkey leg then the whole, the whole turkey itself just spinning away so you can buy yourself some food if you wanted to if you did notice just at the top you have got some kitchen utensils just at the top on here and then as we're looking just past the cat you've got some more stickers and then you've got these barrels as well and if i remember rightly there might be one or two little things hidden Yes, there is. So there might be one thing in here. What is in here? We have got some food. So that's going to be well out of date now. But again, it's all full of detail, which you can obviously see online if you wanted to have a look at the instruction manual. And that should just pop back in easy enough. Now, you've got all of the bits and pieces at the front. So you can get some really nice photos of all of these. And you have got the sign here that says City of Ninjago. Now, what we do is spin it around quickly, I think just to make sure that we've not missed anything on the back or any of the details and things just on the side. And then we can then start looking at the other bits. Now you have got here, you can move this and you can get some nice photos in here as well. So this staircase, I think, does lift up. I think it does retract back ever so slightly. So this is designed to pop off. So you can then get create some more light just on the inside where you can then obviously take some more photos. And then you can angle these to whatever bit that you want to angle them to. Again, that's personal preference because it does depend on how you're going to have it on your display. If you're going to have it with the city, because don't forget, like we said, just with the city, you can have it on the left and you can have it on the right, but it's completely up to you which way you want to display it. If you want to have this as your front and then you have your docks and all the water at the back end or it's spun around and have some water in front. So it does give you that sort of opportunity to do lots of different bits and pieces with. Now this with the roof off does give us a better look at the inside of here. So this is like our little armory. You can see all the little bits and pieces on the outside. I suppose it's supposed to be a little forgery as well because that is what this quite cool looking minifigure she's got some really nice print on her but detail on the inside you can see you've got some little pictures and there's lots of those on so you've got to sort of figure out what they all are because they are some are from the show others are just made up but obviously a lot of it is from the film so if you can remember or recognize that bit from the film then again let us know and then this is how you grab onto that bit just to twist that thing around so that is the bottom and the base completely covered so what we will do 
is we will grab the first bit that we need to grab, which is this bit on the left-hand side. So we'll grab the bottom bit, which was this thing just here. Now this is splits and it splits into three. So you have the very, very base, then you've got the roof, and then you've got the bit that is in the middle. So there's lots and lots and lots of detail. Obviously, if bits and pieces end up pinging off and falling off, it's just me either being a little bit rough, not built it properly. This the all the Ninjago sets are actually really, really sturdy, credit to them. They're not that fragile. So you can you know, throw throw the little bits and pieces around bearing in mind there's quite a bit in there and they don't tend to come off too much this does have a cool sliding door as well which is always nice so again think of your photos that you can get with that and this does link fr from this into the ninjago city as well because don't forget they're both from the movie so they're both like for like with regards to colors and just the little bits of detail now on the inside we start with this this is the thing that i spotted you have got the destiny's bounty from the movie as well now that is a set that i have and there will be a unboxing video like this to come now also on the inside you've got the big globe which is a really nice cool looking thing and that thing just spins around on the inside there you've got some nice orange lighting and the other thing that looks really, really smart and effective is you've got all of these maps. Now, I don't recognize the maps. I think it's where they go on the journey, but I can't quite put two and two together with regards to the scene or what these are for. But I'm sure they'll be linked in because it does look like you've got the boat of the Destiny's Bounty in the water and you've got some of the little bits and pieces going on. So if you can fill me in on that one and let everybody else know in the comments below, that'd be brilliant. Now, so this bit then sits up and it goes above just where the boat lives. And then that just literally sits on it and clips in just like it would do with a normal module. So I just need two hands to push that down. Moving on to the next bit. This is the bit that goes directly on top. So we take the roof off. Again, you've got some really nice detail. You've got these really fantastic translucent pieces. You've got a lot of greens, pinks, purples. As you can see the oranges just on the outside. Really, really nice detail on the outside. I've got these lights with these cool bits on the outs on here, which is uh, like the Spring Lantern set as well. So that, again, it links in with that. You've got the door on the one side and the door on the other. And then you've got the big window. Now on the big window, it has got, if I can grab one, one or two of the newspapers. So that says on the front of that newspaper, Ninjago identities are a mystery. And I think both of them, they just say the same thing. And it's from the Ninjago Ton. Now there's lots of detail again on the inside, just like there is on every single one of these. So this might take a little while to get through but this is where you can obviously buy some little bits and pieces you have got some handcuffs on the inside and you've got some other little bits and bobs just going on on the inside of there as well so again if you recognize this or if you have got this which way do you display it how do you put yours in i decided just to have the newspapers in on that because there should be a piece that goes on the back so they stand in but i would use them with the actual minifigures instead so that is why i have done it that way purposely for this display now looking up at the box that then sits directly on the top just like that and then you just have the roof there is no hidden surprises on that and then that just goes straight on the top and then that is that section completely done moving on to the middle section so that is this bit just here now this is a cool thing this is one of the main reasons why it's quite nice to sort of flip it around and display it in two different ways because this is the dock side so this would just be placed on as is and obviously it would just be on top but what is quite nice and smart is you have got the opportunity to have it that way as well now it's just something completely different it gives you that sort of different perspective now this thing does open up this does flop all the way around if you pull it too much because obviously it is just on the table it will pop out but it is just on the technic pin so that's not too bad you've got these two orange lamps now if you notice you've got the golden frogs up at the top and then you've got all these snake and dragon heads at the bottom now these dragony heads obviously will be linking into the brand new market that's going to be coming out and also the new tv show is called the dragon as well got the windows and everything that open up but of course roof pops off they're built really sturdy these roofs so you can again just throw them around and just launch them about there are more sliding doors on I think a lot of these sets will have sort of side entry in and these do have the minifigures in it which is always nice so i have not lost these now i did say in the ninjago city upload any idea what gdn stands for i said it was simple enough and it is just good day ninjago so that is the famous phrase from the actual movie if, again if you've not watched it i would highly recommend it because it is completely different to the tv show and it's just a good bit of fun now there's lots going on on this you have got some weapons you've got some kettle you've got teapots you've got 
beds. You've got lots and lots of things going on. And I think this bit also moves as well. So you can open it back up. And I think you've got a weapon storage. You do. You've got a weapon storage just on the inside. And the bunk bed flips. So that is why that looks a little bit strange. Because that bunk bed should actually be up at the top. And then you've got all of these things in. So you've got like this hidden compartment just on the back. Where you can put, just put all sorts of little bits and pieces. And then that bit then just slides over and shuts back down again. So it's a cool little hidden piece. But again, this will only physically go on the one way. So that can only go on just like that. And this bit does slide on and it just pushes in. And that is just as good as that. And all I need to do is then obviously just push that down, just clip that back down and just move one or two of the swords I've got pinned just in there. So I can pull that back, get that sword out of the way. And then I can just clip that back in, shut that back down and job. There we go. Job is a good one. Right. Get the roof on. So again, you've got the frogs up at the front that just slots on. So that is as easy as that. But I'm doing all that with one hand. So that's not too bad. Moving on to another big chunky thing. Now that is the big blue bit that you can see on the box, which is this thing just here. So this is a tall thing. Two pieces again. So we'll get this bit off and then we've got the roof to get off as well this is the dojo so this is in not so much i can't remember it's used that heavily within the actual movie but i know it is used very very heavily in the actual tv show so you can see just on the outside just say grand sensei darth's mojo dojo on the sticker just up at the top and he is an absolute useless instructor but it is quite funny and then again you've got a lot of weapons on the inside of this so you've got the two swords you've got these two twirly spikes just on the inside just there and then you've got all of the fake trophies so all of these were bought you then got this big glove just on the inside and then if you can see there are some paintings so you have got some students and i think that's garmadon himself and you've got some more stickers just on the inside then you have the scroll of just learning three different basic movements. So hopefully you can see that through the door, which is that bit just there. So you've got the three movements there. And then you've got the bottles and the lights just at the top. So that is a really nice detailed thing. And then you've got the staircase that links up. And again, you can just see how each bit has something completely different onto the wall. And then you've got all these aircon units as well. So that would sit and live on this bit just like so so that would sit just there and then you see how quick and easy it links up with so you can see just that bit straight up the staircase and then that'll lead you then into the next bit now that next bit is the blue bit which is this bit just here so again if i take the roof off which is that bit just there you've got all sorts of colors so you've got the blues two blues grays and the really really bright greens spinning this round you've then got a one of these must open somewhere this is the signage so you can pull this out pull this through and then this is where you can replace the signs so i need on the box to have a quick look just to figure out where the other signs are stored before this finishes so we'll do that the second i put this one back now on the inside of this you have got all sorts of little bits and pieces so you've got the two bits just there which is obviously where you've got the little drinks machines they're not working and then you've got the two signage up at the top you've got a nice looking minifigure in there you've got like a uh, almost like an ice cream bit with a coffee nice minifigure on the inside but this is where if you insert the money onto the inside you can see these cans where it says cool drinks the cool drink will pop out and then there are plenty loaded up at the top so that is a really really nice thing so if you think if you had three or four cans on the inside of that then you have to get all of those out it's clever because obviously on the Ninjago City, you have a working cash machine. And then from the cash machine, you can then put the cash in this and get this out. Bearing in mind the cool details that they've got in this one, the new one has a working flushable toilet. Yes, you heard that correct. So we've got a nice drinks machine on this one. We've got a cash point on the other. And then we have a loo which produces brown rain. But it's all a good bit of fun. And it is what it is. Right, let's find where these bits are. So I found it in the instruction manual. If you open up this flap and then you open up these two doors just on the inside, they are there. Look at that. So I was clever enough back in the day to put all of these in. So what do we have? We have got four cool looking ones. Now you have got a throwback to the 
adventure sets and series i quite like the fact that they link to the original adventure sets but now obviously that does look like very much look like indiana jones but it's not it's actually a throwback to the 1997 sets i do believe then you've got the breaking news that is a cool looking one that's where he gets invaded but yes you can see it is translucent that's a really nice looking one and then you've got this cool blue car again so with some really nice translucent orange or if you want some sushi you can grab yourself some sushi and have that one in the one that i have in character Currently is just the Ninjago tonight and it has the ninjas in on the side so I don't know if that's a bit boring and should be changed if you have watched this bit let me know let me know which one you'd like me to put in I'm not too sure what that would look like I don't think I've ever ever changed them but I don't know if you get that translucent effect on it because that one looks a little bit dark I could put a throwback to the Indiana Jones in but we'll keep that one in there for now and again that one just locks through and that just keeps that pinned in so there's lots and lots of nice little hidden detail with all of these so we see how quick and easy it is to put all of these back just because it should slot in in all four should go in at the same time which they have done one door shuts two door shuts and then that should then just go up at the top like so he says that goes in on the angle and that is as simple as that so it's nice and easy actually because with that bit on you can reach the signs no problem so you can open up those doors and also you can then just pick and choose the bits on there so that is obviously the ninjago dock side but if you did want to see the bit where you get the drinks from you would then have to spin it around on the other side so the both sides do have really really nice detail comparisons now i know you guys have been waiting for this because a lot of you want to see what this looks like against the ninjago city and there's going to be a full much more detailed comparison to come but this will obviously spin one of two ways so that is the back of that to one of the sides of the actual city itself you can try and get it to line up with the path so if you wanted to for example and you spun this round all the way i'm trying to do this with the one hand and now what will happen if you look where it connects you can now see if you spin it around the back way this path now connects properly but you have got a choice if you want to have it looking like this or having it looking like the other way but if you did want to have it looking like this way for example what you can then do is if you wanted to you can spin this one all the way around and then you can have it trying to connect it to the inside because that is where the other pins are so now we can connect the two back parts together if you want to create all your water and everything on here you've got the bit where it comes through from the one obviously it links up absolutely perfectly you've got these little pieces from the one set onto here we move this figure out the way and then you've now got the staircase from the one so that is the actual garden up city should i say not the garden because the gardens are one beside me but you can just see how they will easily line up and it just creates that one fantastic illusion that they're all together and then obviously you can carry on coming up and then you come round and then you can get to the bit where you've got the sign you've got the drinks on the other way and again these link nicely because you can come around this way you come up and come on to the back so it's up to you i guess if you wanted to have it displayed like this where you have it much more of a watery downtown area or you can have it facing forwards but obviously i've moved the city to the left this time and it gives a completely different perspective because you can see the path that still connects up because you can walk just behind here they're all connected this is where the one set finishes and that's where the other set is so you can just see how they line up and again if you come up to the top and they were pushed in flush you can just see exactly the comics is the one set and then where you're like called drinks machine is where it then starts to come in but, but keep your eyes peeled for the full comparison video of these two sets because obviously you can put this a couple of different ways you can spin this around a couple of different ways and we've also got the gardens to play with as well next one trusty indiana jones comparison so you can see just how the car scales parked outside the dock bit and then obviously you've got the plane as well so if you were to have like an injago water plane for example you can see just how that would look like against the actual main set itself but that is it i am done so if you can like this video and subscribe to the channel that would be absolutely fantastic hopefully you found this one useful with regards to just to how big this one is and if you are trying to backtrack it hopefully you might think it's worth it remember there will be a big comparison video coming with regards to just how we can get this thing placed with the actual in jargo city and we'll get we'll throw in the gardens as well but guys thank you very much for watching you lot take care and i'll take you to the next one Ta -da.